everyone, it's me Zara, and today I'll be reading you The Empty Pot. And this is by Demi. And um, on the front cover, you guys can see that it's a picture of a boy, and he's holding an empty flower pot, and he's just standing there, and looks like he looks like he's really sad because his flower is not growing. And then you can see like these purple flowers growing on the top, and the cute little squirrel, and a bunnies and ducks. Really cute. And then. This is not a really perfect time to read this book because it's December and it's really cold outside and there's no flowers growing outside, so I think I should have read this book in spring, but I'm still going to read it to you. So at the back, it just tells you what the book is about and I'll read it to you. Okay, so let's read it. When the Chinese emperor announces an unusual test to choose an heir, heir to heir, the child who raises the best flowers from a seed given by the emperor will be his successor. Ping, unaccountably, is unable to get a seed to sprout. A lovely story, well told, and most attra attractively presented. Presented, sorry. So, um, this is just different comments. So, this technically gives you what the book is about, because different authors are telling what this book is about. And, yeah, in their own words. Okay, so anyways, let's read The Empty Pot. And I think the story is... is is was told in China? Not sure. Okay, the empty pot. I think. Yeah. A long time ago in China. Oh, I was right. A long time ago in China, there was a boy named Ping who loved flowers. Anything he planted burst into bloom. Up came flowers, bushes, and even big fruit trees, as if by magic. So it looks like he grew this whole tree. Everyone in the kingdom loved flowers, too. They planted them everywhere, and the air smelled like perfume. So it looks like it's really pretty. Well, the kingdom, really pretty. The emperor loved birds and animals, but flowers most of all, and he tended his own garden every day. But the emperor was very old. He needed to choose a successor to the throne. Who would, who would his successor be? And how would the emperor choose? Because the emperor loved flowers so much, he de oh, sorry, he decided to let the flowers choose. The next day, a proclamation was issued. All the children in the land were were, were to come to the palace. There, there, they would be given special flowers used by the emperor. Whoever can show me the, their best in a year's time, he said, will succeed me to the throne. This news created great excitement throughout the land. Children from all over the country swarmed to the palace to get their flower seeds. So all over the land. And looks like they're really excited. A little squiggle. All the parents wanted their children to be chosen emperor. And all the children hoped they would be chosen too. When Ping received his seat from the emperor, he was the happiest child of all. He was sure he would grow the most beautiful flower. You can see that these two maids, I think the maids are fanning him, because it must be really hot in China. Ping filled, filled the flower pot with rich soil. He planted the seed in it very carefully. He watered it every day. He couldn't wait to see it sprout, grow, and blossom into a beautiful flower. Day after day passed, but nothing grew in his pot. Nothing is growing, you guys. Ping was very worried. He put new soil into a bigger pot. So he's trying to make the flower grow. Then he trans transferred the seed into the rich black soil. So he's putting it in a better pot. Okay, let's go. After another two months, he waited. 
still nothing happened. Uh -oh. By and by, the whole year passed. But nothing grew, guys. Spring came, and all the children put on their best clothes to greet the emperor. So all putting on their best clothes. They rushed the palace with their beautiful flowers, eagerly hoping to be chosen. Their beautiful flowers, and one's one of them, one of their shoe fell off. Ping was ashamed of his empty pot. He thought the other children would laugh at him because of for, because for once he couldn't get a flower to grow. His clever friend ran by holding a great big plant. Pink, he said, you're not really going to the emperor with an empty pot, are you? Couldn't you grow a big flower like mine? I've grown lots of flowers better than yours, Pink said. It's just this seed that won't grow. Ping's father overheard this and said, You did your best, and your best is good enough to pre present to the emperor. Holding the empty pot in his hands, Ping went straight away to the palace. The emperor was looking at the flowers slowly, one by one. How beautiful all the flowers were! But the emperor was frowning and did not say a word. Look at Ping. Uh oh, Ashanella's purse fell off. I'll wear it back. Okay. Finally, he came to Ping. Ping hung his head in shame, accepting to be punished. Expecting to be punished. Yeah, I said accepting. It's accepting. Yeah, be punished. The emperor asked him. Why did you bring an empty pot? Ping started to cry and replied, I planted the seed you gave me and I watered it every day, but it didn't sprout. I put it in a better pot with better soil, but still it didn't sprout. I tended it all year long, but nothing grew. So did I have to bring an empty pot without a flower? It was the best I could do. All the children are laughing at him. When the emperor heard these words, a smile slowly spread over his face, and, his, and he put his arm, arm around Ping. Then he exclaimed, to one and all, I found him! I found, found the one person worthy of being emperor. Where you got your seeds from, I did not know, for the seeds I gave you had all been cooked, so it was impossible for any of them to grow. Oh, so he cooked them. I admire Ping's great courage to appear before me with the empty truth, and now I reward him with my entire kingdom and make him emperor of all the land. Look at his carriage. The end. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please be sure to subscribe. And also, I also wanted to show you my favorite page in the book. So let me get to it and I'll be right back. My favorite page was this page. I liked it because I liked all the colorful flowers and all, and they were so pretty, and I can't believe how they grew these flowers all year long, and they're super, super pretty. So this is my favorite page. And yeah, so that's the book I read, and I really enjoyed it, and it was a really nice book. So please be sure to subscribe, like, um, and share this video to your family and friends, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.